never be born or live a life full of suffering? This question relates to a footballer who is supposed to be the next superstar, getting attention from Real Madrid, Barcelona and Chelsea at age 15. But this footballer, now almost 27, only ever played 7 games for the first team and in the last 5 years the Belgian attacker has only been able to feature in 28 games, an average of 5.5 games per season, playing a measly 35 minutes per game, last scoring against Everton in late 2018. In this video we will understand why this wonder kid never fulfilled his potential and why he's the luckiest, unluckiest footballer of all time. Charles Mosonda Jr. is the brother of Lamisha and Tika Mosonda, who all played for Anderlecht and Chelsea. But more importantly, they are all the sons of Charles Mosonda Sr., who was a Zambian footballer that also played for Anderlecht for 10 years. Charles Mosonda found great success in Belgium, winning many trophies with Anderlecht. But during his time in Belgium, Mosonda was able to cheat death. It was April of 1993. The Chipolo Polo, also known as the Zambian national team, was getting ready to fly out for a World Cup qualifier match against Senegal. The journey began in Lusaka, Zambia. The plane was then to stop to refuel at three different locations, Brazzaville, Libreville and Adijan. The final destination being Dakar, Senegal. The aircraft successfully refueled at Brazzaville, but engine problems were noted. Nevertheless, the plane continued on to Libreville for the second refueling stop. Once refueled, the plane rose into the skies once again. However, this would be the last time the plane would see the skies. Moments after taking off from Libreville, the engine caught fire and failed. The pilot, who flew the day before, was exhausted and in a tired state, he mistakenly turned off the other engine, causing the plane to lose all power. The aircraft then plunged into the Atlantic Ocean, a mere 500 meters from the shore. All 30 people on board died, except for four lucky people. Kalusha Bualia, Johnson Bualia, Bennett Mulwanda Simfuque, and Charles Musonda. Charles Musonda was saved by the very thing that his son is now cursed with, knee injuries. Charles Musonda was in bed recovering from knee surgery when he heard of the tragic accident. If he never got injured, he would have most likely been on that flight. And if he was on that flight, Charles Musonda Jr. would have never been. This leads us to Charles Musonda Jr. Ever since his time at Real Betis in 2016, he has suffered from knee problems, missing over 100 games during his career due to injury. His first major knee injury happened during a game for Vitesse, where a 50-50 challenge in a friendly match left Musonda out for 8 months. This however, would just be the beginning for Charles Musonda. 114 days later, he suffered another severe knee injury in his last game. Since the injury, Musonda missed 759 days being out for over two years. But not all hope is lost. In August of 2022, Charles Masonda Jr. joined Spanish side Levante, playing 16 times, starting twice, coming on 14 times and being on the bench for nine games. But as of September 2023, Charles Masonda is a free agent. Life has been hard for Charles Masonda Jr. Life has brought him to the lowest point many times. Will he have the determination required to return to football? Will this seemingly never ending injury curse ever be lifted? What do you think? Is Charles Masonda Jr. the luckiest or unluckiest footballer of all time? Let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, Charlie, keep going, don't give up.